Hi, this is my latest project. This is a Christmas project using the Parallax Flip, which is this little dip board right here. That's a processor with a whole bunch of stuff on it. Um, and it has the USB connection so you can program it so it's all self-contained. And then uh, I have the Parallax Serial LCD right here. And I have over here is a Bluetooth device. It's a Velleman that I got from Fry's. It's an HC05, HC-05, just Bluetooth, not BLE. Um, so that's going to be due. And then inside here, I have uh, the, the Parallax RGB uh, little board inside there. And uh, so that's running that. So what, what's going to happen, and uh, I've used Simple ID with C and using their uh, FD serial interface, uh, I've uh, created a little program, so I've coded that so it can accept certain values uh, that it sees on the serial port, and that'll determine the colors that it's going to uh, present inside the bulb. Uh, the bulb was a plastic bulb that I got from Walmart. Same thing with the little tree. And then I painted it with some paint on the inside with some glitter as well. They kind of get some little shiny thing. And the snow is kind of a, that's actually styrofoam that I had from packaging. I just kind of rubbed it together and then created that and then used some glue to glue it to the bottom. And the tree is stuck in there with some hot glue. Um, that was a, kind of a challenge. That's why the tree looks that way because I shoved it through a little hole on top. And uh, so, uh, so I have a combination of things here. So I have that and then I'm able from, uh, I'm running with a Raspberry Pi and through that using blues and I have it uh, able to send commands through RFCOM. So basically through a serial port from uh, from the, the Raspberry Pi. So I have a Python script that I have where it accepts a command line arguments and then it'll take that, it'll send it. It, it basically it creates a connection and then it sends the command and then it, it kills off the connection. That way the connection is not active all the time. So uh, we can test this. I can come over here. I can turn the LED red, for example. This should come back up. And then say blue. Should go blue. And you see the LCD also indicates the color that's coming up. That's just a visual thing that I had sort of troubleshooting. And then the simple IDE serial interface as well. That's coming up kind of because the indication of what's happening. That's more of that was kind of debug type stuff. And then I have this little dim little program that I have, a little loop that basically takes the blue. I'm going to change that so I can pass it a color and tell it to dim that. So it'll go through a series of making it brighter and then making it dim again. And then it'll stop. Uh, but since it went ahead and ran the command and then it just comes back off and kills the connection. And that's what you see from the blinking from the Bluetooth device. So when it actually makes the connection, let me do that again. Uh, so it makes the connection. You should see the blinky kind of stop. There's every now and then a blink. And then once it stops, it starts blinking again. So that's how quick the connection was. So it, it could be quicker, but I just put some delays in there to make sure things were happening. So just enough for it to, to connect, to send a command, and then disconnect. Um, uh, so my end result with this, I want to add this into a JavaScript and then have it web-based so I can bring up a web uh, a, a web page and then go from that and then change the colors. But And then maybe have a string of these so I can have multiple RGB uh, devices on there and then have multiple bulbs. But this is the first one I created. So it, it was a bit of a challenge of getting the, the paint inside there. And actually the way I did the paint was was uh, I have a combination of some white paint and some floor cleaner, which has got wax in it. And that was kind of one of the examples I've seen for putting glitter on the inside of the ball. But I used that to kind of thin out the paint so it was easier to spread. And I just dripped the paint inside the bulb and I kind of moved it around uh, in the manner that I wanted. So it has a white background. That was the main thing. So it basically has a window on there. Uh, if you look at it from the side, it almost looks like an old space helmet. Um, but yep, that's what I have. And then I have all. So I have a few colors that's already been defined. And it should go through that. A 
few times. And if it's stuck on a color, and then I can just turn it off if I want. It hangs up. We go back to the dim. There we go again. So here we have it, a little simple project. Um, I know I'm kind of running out of time, but I've had a few things get in the way. But that's what I have, so this is going to be my Christmas project for this year. Uh, I still have my Darth Vader candy dish I might work on, but we'll see. Um, but hopefully I can get one more bulb on here. I have one more RGB board, and then uh, maybe connect that so there's at least two of them. Um, so there you go.